Hello, welcome to Editing Monday. I will share with you how I iron my clothing. Yes, sometimes you need to Photoshop it. I intentionally choose my photo, not the client's photo, so make sure no, nobody is offended. I do make same mistakes. What I just did, I just use my brush. I click at option key taste it sample it and with opacity 40 oops i was making some smoothness okay as for me my my dress a little bit overexposed i'm gonna just make sure the dress is just to see more texture so it's easier for you to see what adjustments we did okay i'm gonna go back to my mask invent and we'll color it 100% black so you see maybe not even here just this part all right let's do one more time invert and just paint with white brush overexpose actually helps with <laughs> with faults you just overexpose it and you see nothing that's okay uh let's i flatten the image so we can continue working again we using brush patch tool clone tool wherever you're comfortable with let's start with the biggest faults and you just drag it and drop it where you see the um, exact texture or exact line for example if their fold will be here so you can just drop over there because as you see it's completely different but if the even is right here you just drop and drag it so something like this this is what i meant all right this side is uh, almost even so i'm using my brush sample it 20 percent and i don't cover it like this so i'm i'm drawing as the same Actually, we can use, uh, I just use selection just to select this part. So make sure I don't go on the red one. And I'm gonna sample because it's brighter on this. Oh, what, what did I do? Okay, at 20%, you again can do bigger, but it's easier to control when it's opacity, it's lower. Okay, now let's click right here and do same thing we're gonna go back to this fold and this fold you just brush it 30 percent 20 percent is uh usually the best one to control to control to control your painting i can say sorry if that was too loud okay this side is uh, almost even we're gonna deselect let's see before and after so you can just imagine what it just did to this point all right let's use this part again you just brushing brushing covering lighter use with lights or big folds use with the patch tool see the this fold and the shadow gets this way and it's just ugly I'm, i can tell natural uh, you know gives an interest but actually it's easier when we just not easier better when we remove it okay let's use the hardest part sometimes if you have any actions or presets for face smoother just click it and see how it works sometimes you have to apply a few times and it helps with folds majestically i hope that i said it right like awesome okay 100 percent. see this is the f natural baby skin smoother i'm using the natural this is any any skin smoother so we use it i have it on fast mode so um so that's why i i have it i apply it but any face smoother works okay doesn't give much uh, you see it's just a little bit blurness okay i i'm, I'm gonna flatten and also try, let's apply my 
my action usually i also try this one on my folds this is my peeling skin action peeling skin again doesn't do much a little bit but not not more, more like blurness than uh folds but it does help this not on this image though okay so let's then use our brush so far it works okay on the lighter make sure opacity 20 or 30 let's use smaller brush because we like those folds we like those shadows this is what creates a beauty otherwise it will like plain white uh, okay let's do keep keep testing because the shade of this dress keep changing as lights uh falls again well, i'm gonna use my selection to just to select this dress and don't not go over to the background all right okay i'm gonna use taste it go with it taste it make smaller brush no let's let's go back i i like this light let's keep it lighter you're basically painting over again face smoother helps my uh, peeling skin action helps but usually for four further if their bait subject stays uh, somewhere further from that it helps a lot but mostly patch tool and brush your friends to go with and sometimes cloning tool okay let's see i do like this I want to go over because I like this sharp. We're going to go one more time. Mm -hmm. And only this line, we have to make this line even. Keep doing, keep doing. Oh, you're almost done. Almost done. I'm constantly hitting bracketing, bracketing keys, um, samples option, option. My my pinky is my on the option key, and my brush going up and down, up and down. Usually, as the dress, you can you cannot brush this way. It's completely wrong. <laughs> Unless you can do, you can if you want it, obviously, but it's wrong okay let's deselect and use some patch tool to blend more shadow and brightness since we have a big contrast with this so that's why it's visible so wherever so this is natural fold we we don't want to work with this because otherwise the dress won't be that dress so you only work uh, on an unironed bed liner aye, aye, aye. yeah we work all day in the studio then we paint on this wall and i told my andrew to take a picture of me and he did messy hair just put the red lipstick to more to just create because i was wearing on my pay that was actually my session i was wearing this dress and i just put lipstick and work see how perfectly uh, well perfectly for me obviously just love it love this image okay this is basically it if you see some something that you just cannot like this bothers you keep keep doing this until you you like it uh, if there's uh, big creases remove it i think this is the best one is just mixing back and forth back and forth back and forth mixing this even this if you mix so it will be more uh, more smoother for example let's see just me uh, and let's go back no I actually like this one yeah let's keep uh, keep the big ones and oops I was holding the space key uh, no go back okay let's check also 
these creases this the best one is liquefy tool you can leave it as it is but also this tool works great for make it all even who doesn't want to be a little more slimmer yeah great even so one be and you can push even the shadows if shadow bother you push that shadow let's see something like this oops okay click ok and let's see before and after before messy i love it honestly and after i would like actually i want this brightness back <laughs> just this this is this is in contrast maybe not too not much otherwise it's too flat for me okay this is how create let's go back again before and after before let's zoom in just to see before and after before and after again keep working until you love it so these kind of it's even but if you make it even again the liquify tool works best for this you just push back and forth but it just to make this line even so one be too creased okay i'm gonna just use a few more times my all-time favorite tool is patch tool a little more i think i see right here well lana again leave it as natural as possible i'm doing the extra version time version ver extra extra yeah those pushes let's we push it to the center and yeah okay and oh one more crease right here yeah make sure let's go back make sure you don't lose the texture don't lose the texture work from light to dark or opposite to see what you like the best in this case from dark to light mixes mix this shadow and light better and also we have this texture otherwise you for example like you see it's too, too visible make sure you have this texture okay let's see we push this back and forth so we make sure we don't see these lines like from the push push line okay this is how you add it wrinkle clothing welcome to my dry cleaning <laughs> just kidding okay that i hope that was helpful i'm still gonna <laughs> I, i'm still gonna do maybe because this is me so I don't know I would do this for my client but but if that a lot of images not only one so I will just uh, remove just main creases and that's it okay I hope that helped thank you for watching bye bye